hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well so today i am going to show you the building tool master which is used for creating very dynamic buildings etc so without any further delay let's get started so here i open my blender so first we need to install that add-on so what i will do i will go to the edit preference and here i will click the install button and I will locate that add-on and I will just install it so when I install it it show like that I will just check it and after that I will save preference and if you have the tick on auto save preference so don't need to save it's automatic save then after that I will delete the that default cube and uh, I will press the N so here you can see here is the showing is building tool so I will just create it so first here is only one option is highlighted create floor plan so i will just create it so here is a create a one plane so here you can see here is a one dialog box so here is a very type uh, here is a many kinds of floor like that circular like that and a shape random random means you can seed it from this and you can find any kind of shapes so right now I'm uh, taking the rectun rectangular. So yeah. So you can see. So here is no option is uh, all options are grey out. So how to enable these options? So what you need to do? You have to go to the edit mode, and I will select the face, press three, and I will add the add floor. So when I add the floor, so it's adding one floor like that. Here is the floor count. So I will increase the count like five, like that. And uh, here you can see here we can increase the uh, that uh, thickness also slab and that outer thickness as well. So I will keep that like that so after that i will add the roof so i will click the uh, top face make sure guys this tool only use and only working on a edit mode not a object mode so i will select the floor uh, one face and i will add the roof so when i add the roof so here is a uh, many kinds of roof like three types of roof gravel like that and one of this hip so here we can also change the thickness outside also and height also so I'm just keep and taking this hip then after that I will add the uh, before adding the uh, balcony stair I will adding the window first so I will adding the window I will click the that face and I will add the window so when I add the window you can see here is a uh, one window showing so here you can add the how many count you need it so like that we need only three and uh, here is a add arc type so yeah I need arc type so you can see like that and you can add the arc depth as well height as well and resolution as well yeah it's looking good then after that here is a fill type also so here is a bar like that you can change the second one also yeah it's looking cool and here is a glass one so i will take the lower yeah, it's looking good and you can also change the count of lower you can change it same thing depth border also but huh, it's looking fine i just need to uh, change the that uh, depth yeah yeah it's looking yeah, it's looking fine now so I need to add the uh, these window on this floor also so I will just select this and I will add window so it will be add here also so here I need to add one uh, door so here you can see here is add door so yeah its door is appearing here so here is the same thing how many count you need it right now I need only one door and here is a double door yes double door means like that 
which is open in between and yes i need arc one because these i also take arc so i can set the arc resolution tell as well and here is also fill type panels like that uh glass and same window one so here right now i will take the that panel yeah and we can change the uh thickness means uh wait like that so right now it's arc is the stuffing so we can change the height and it's looking cool yeah and uh, yeah it's looking fine and i need to add the one window here also so right now it's adding three because last setting is save three so i need only one and right now i need the slit till one so i will just scale down like that and i will change the yeah it's looking fine yeah and here i also need i will add the add window then after that i need uh one door here also yeah so i will add the door like that and i will add the window here also like that and right now i need here a balcony so we need to add the balcony so we will select the any of faces and we will add the balcony so that balcony is showing like that so we need to add this now so i will uh move is as x axis and y axis as well like that so yeah it's perfect so we can scale also little bit yeah it's perfect and we can move it's looking good so first we will add the same thing here at the door window and balcony cool same thing i will repeat here yeah so and same thing i will apply here i will just doing be quick yeah guys it's done almost yeah so right now we need a window also here so we can add the window right now we need two window here i think three also it's it's work and same thing here yeah it's looking cool and we need add the window one window here also only one yeah and same thing i will apply on the back side yes uh, we need to add the stair so i will select the one face and add the stair so yeah the stair is here so now we can move out little bit down i think minus 1 is perfect yeah minus 1 is perfect and uh, we can spread this also i will add the value 4 i think 4 is fine yeah it's looking good so yeah guys that building is created so the main thing is that wait first i will just uh, uh extrude this edge down like that yeah now it's cool so main thing is that man we can uh array this building like that yeah we can create the multiple buildings at one and we can change it yeah like that 
so i hope you guys uh, understand these tool as well so now i'm uh, showing the more tool here so what is that so first i'm telling you that that's the materials tool so materials tool uh, basically uh, use same the default of blender so it's what is what is does it's automatically uh, create the uh, section like a roof a roof hang window so you can just uh, create the material and put it out so i think so it's not a new thing to you guys if you know the blender very well so i'm just skipping this part yeah so right now so again i will create one plane and uh, i will uh, keep uh, this right now at shape okay and uh, i will go to the edit mode let's select all and i will add the float like that three and what is the uh, add multiple so if i click all faces like that and i will click the add window so that window is created all one at once and we can change the number like that same thing if i need to add the door so i will click the all one like that i will add the door and how many doors like two just created two at once so this is doing that uh, same thing is happen with balcony also yeah guys so it's creating the balcony so this is that uh, add multiple group multi group so main thing i just want to show you so what happen now if uh, we create the plane and that that shape is coming and we have only some uh, only four and five options to create the building style so what is the use and what is the benefit of this tool man if i create a manual plane like that and i want to edit this uh to like that i can extrude it so i need my building like that extrude it so i need my building kind of l shape and l shape is not here so we create it then after that i will select the faces or and i can add the add floor that that building is created whatever plane uh, shape you taken so now i can create the windows here very well at the windows how many windows you want like that and i will showing the other option also so i'm showing another example i'm taking the plane also again and right now i want to create like that like that so i need the my building shape like that so same thing i will select the all faces and add floor so my building is look like that so that is that's it for this tutorial guys and if you learn something this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one next video thanks for watching bye bye and stay home stay safe